Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I want to talk just for a moment about uh, your engine blocks. If you're in the process of um, putting together a Volkswagen engine block uh, that is more than likely going to be brand new um, and doesn't have the cylinder head studs installed yet. If you've got an existing block that you've had cleaned up, machined, etc., you might already have done this step. But uh, here today on this aluminum block, um, <clears throat> I've got a uh, head stud kit installed. This is a racewear kit. Um, they're supposed to be the best head studs. And when you do something like this, you, uh, you can hand thread them in and it will only go so far by hand. You're gonna need to get, uh, according to the racewear documentation, and probably non-racewear studs too, the regular studs. By the way, these are 10 millimeter studs, uh, but you're gonna wanna get at least 19 millimeters of the thread into the block. And to do that, you're more than likely, sometimes if you're lucky, you can by hand, but more than likely you're going to need some type of apparatus to screw the stud into the block. Um, <clears throat> let's see. You want to get the studs sunk in enough so that they don't pull back out when you uh, put them under tension. You know, when you've got a, especially with a high performance engine like this one that I'm um, starting on here. This is going to become a 2387cc block. Uh, but anyway... Uh, these racewear studs have a traditional, at the block end, they have a traditional 10 by 1.5 millimeter thread. However, at the outboard ends, the thread is, uh, if I can get my finger on it there, 3 8 by 24. This is not typical VW stuff. Uh, typically, a VW stud, and here I have one, a VW 10 millimeter stud, I want to say this is from CB Performance. It's going to have the 10 by 1.5 at both ends. And that, that's all fine and good. Um, either case, you're going to need some type of tool to sink these into the block. And in my case, I got hold of what are called stud setters. And um, let's see. I have one here. This is, I don't know if the video will show it or not, but this is an M10 by 1.5 stud setter. This will not work on these, these studs, but it will work on the VW. Uh, 10, 10 by 1.5 at both ends. This one is 44 millimeters long. It's got a half inch drive. I wouldn't go with a quarter. I don't even know if a quarter is available, but uh, it's got a little ball down in the recess. And the way this thing works, let me grab that uh, stud that I just showed. Um, doing this with one hand here, sorry, I apologize. You're gonna take this, you're gonna thread it onto the end once I get it started here. Okay, it's threading on there. The little ball that you saw inside the socket a moment ago is going to at some point bottom out on the stud and with your handy dandy half inch uh, ratchet wrench you're going to be able to put some torque on that thing and get it in the block you can see this stud is I would say that's an inch inch and a half maybe an inch and five eighths uh, but it's got a long way to go if it were going to go into this block so uh, you're not gonna like I say want to be able to do that by hand Anyway, um, the other type uh, of stud, these racewear studs, um, you're going to need a different type of stud setter. And I happen to have a 3 8 let's see if I can get it to focus here, 3 8 by 24 um, stud setter. This one um, will go on the ends of these special stud or threads that come with the racewear stud kit 
you see it threads right on there and the way this one works is um let's have a look inside it real quick before i go doing that part um you're not going to be able to see it more than likely but there's not a ball in there it is simply a socket with 3 8 by 24 threads and a separate stud uh not to be confused with a head stud but this is just a stud uh with an allen key end on it and then a nut that goes down there you're going to want to set this thing to where perhaps half of the outboard end fits inside the head you 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 adjust that with this end here and then you you screw it down till you feel it bottom out you then turn the nut tight and you start um turning it counterclockwise that gets the uh same job done as the other head stud i showed you and i've sunk these racewear studs into where there's not maybe a half inch left sitting out of the block which is more than enough to guarantee that i'll have the strength and rigidity once this big 2387 comes to life so um i hope this is helpful information now you might be wondering well this is all great fine and good but what in the world if i want to buy one of these where are the part numbers so i'm going to share that with you too this 3 8 by 24 stud setter um is from a company called colony i had never heard of them until about a week ago but they they make a very good tool i can vouch for the quality of this tool here is the pack that it came in including the part number it is 2396-2 and you get not only a 3 8 you can see that there were two studs in or two stud setters in this you get not only the 3 8 by 24 they give you a 3 8 by 16 which i don't know what application calls for that this is actually uh i guess this is more of a motorcycle tool so perhaps like harley davidson's or something might have a 3 8 by 16 thread on one of their studs i don't know but in my case i didn't need that one it's nice to have it if i ever do um the other tool which i still got threaded on the standard quote unquote 10 millimeter stud this is from a company called where's it at here koken k-o-k-e-n uh made in japan and the part number is a i don't know if it's visible there it's a 4103 m and i guess the entire um the entire part number is a 4103M-10 and in parentheses 1.5. Go to kokenusa.com to find that part number. Uh, and for the other company, Colony, just do a Google search on the Colony 2396-2. I think I got mine from a company called Lowbrow Customs. So uh, anyway, again... Hopefully this is something you find helpful uh, for you guys that are getting ready to put together engines. You're going to need something capable of holding all the torque that they put out. And a good quality head stud can't be uh, overestimated enough in terms of its importance. So hope you found this video helpful. And let me know in the comments uh, if you did or if you didn't. Let me know. And... Uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Appreciate you guys. Stay safe. God bless. Talk later.